So for here, we have two root of one point twelve point five. And five divided by twelve point five, if you want to calculate us, you have zero point four. So zero point four. Okay. We have zero point four. Now if I have zero point four, if you are to continue solving, you take this cost to the other side. Then instead of it to have cos theta equals to zero point four. Now taking this to the other side, you have theta to be equal to cos inverse of zero point four. So I'm not with my calculator yet, so find the cos inverse of zero point four and send me your answer in the inbox below. After that we have to look for the magnitude of the vector product of A and B. What is the other name for vector product? Vector product, another name is known as what? Cos product. Sorry for saying that. Okay. So I'm going to look for the cos product that is for IB. Looking for the vector product of things and looking for the cost product. So I'm going to look for the cost product first. So the cost product, and that is me having, we have going to i, j, k. Correction of this i is what? Is 1. Correction of this j is what? 1. k is what? Minus 2. And the other one is what? 3, 4, one. I solve. I. One. Uh, I close here. One times one is what? One. Four times minus two is what? Four times minus two is going to be minus eight. Minus eight. Okay. There's minus here. So let me try it instead. Yes, 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 so I down, minus times minus is plus, 1 plus 8 is what? Is 9. So I'll get to be 9i. And here, minus times minus is what? Is plus. 1 plus 6 is what? 7. 7 times minus j is minus 7j. Okay. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 times k is going to be k again. And that is going to be plus k. So these are. Uh, what our vector product, which is also known as our cos product. Uh, so now we ask you to look for the magnitude of this. Now, looking for the magnitude of this now. It's data from the first one we saw that says magnitude of A and B. Not say magnitude of A and B. That means you find A, find this one and multiply it. What one said? And the vector product of that. So just go straight and apply the magnitude of this. And that will be 9 square minus 7 square plus 1 square. And that will be giving us 9 square is going to give us 81 plus minus 7 square is going to give us 49 plus 1. So let's add everything together. Now the root of but 9 plus 1 is 50, 50 plus 8, 1. That will give us 131. Okay. 